Welcome to our coding journey. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question about nested loops and debugging. Our objective is to create a function that returns a 4x4 array filled with random letters, ensuring that no two letters in the same column are the same. Let's dive into the details and see how we can achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and I'm hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's begin by defining our function. We wanna create a function that returns a four by four matrix filled with random letters from A to D. Next, we will fill the first two rows of the matrix with random samples of the letters A, B, C, and D. This is done using the sample function. Now, we will implement nested loops to fill the remaining rows. The outer loop will iterate through the rows, while the inner loop will check each column. Inside the inner loop, we will check if the current letter is different from the one above it. If it is the same, we will sample a new row. Finally, we will print the matrix after it has been filled. This will allow us to see the result of our function. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This solution generates all possible combinations of letters and removes duplicates, resulting in a unique matrix. The function uses nested loops to sample combinations and ensure each row is distinct. A faster alternative is available using the Combinet package, which can improve performance for larger matrices. However, both methods can slow down significantly for sizes greater than 10. If you already have one valid matrix, you can generate others quickly by permuting the rows and columns, which is a more efficient method for creating multiple matrices. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This solution presents a faster method for generating a magic square without storing all combinations. It utilizes the diagonal magic square algorithm and returns a random permutation of the square. The code defines a function that creates a matrix filled with letters, ensuring no duplicates in each row and column. The example shows how to call the function with a size of 15, resulting in a 15 by 15 matrix filled with letters. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.